hello guys we are back again with the bash tutorials and this time the topic in discussion will be which cloud is better in past few days uh, we are actually getting emails to to put some tutorial on it which cloud is better i know we are overflowing with cloud technologies nowadays we have variety of clouds in like in the ecosystem so what are the what are the fundamental things which we can actually see before recommending a cloud to a respective client partner or to our company right so i have taken the three most discussed cloud in an ecosystem like aws which is amazon web services gcp which is google cloud and azure which is microsoft cloud so i will be putting forward few stems and few forte of these cloud and you can actually pick a uh, pick any cloud which is more aligned to your demands to your needs every cloud is specialized and every cloud is specialized in some way which and they have their pro and cons so let's start discussing so i will first go with amazon web services so as we all know amazon is the pioneer in public cloud offerings yes we can say that cloud uh, cloud initiatives were taken by red hat as well as open cloud uh, organizations but in public cloud offerings amazon can be called as a pioneer so obviously if you start a cloud business early you may have uh, gone through various use cases uh, you may have gone through various challenges which are efficiently been rectified in your newer versions right so one of the advantage going with amazon is like they are the pioneer the moving ahead so they support supported all type of infrastructure as a cloud platform as a cloud and software as a cloud so we all know how these three are different if you don't know then you need to first actually go through all these three cloud offerings you want cloud at compute level you want cloud at services level or you want cloud at maybe like hadoop or big data stuff that can be as platform so i have been to various uh, uh, cloud conferences and uh, when when we talk with the people they say aws is very much suited with environment having linux and they also are coming up with serverless approach and lambda approach so majorly if you talk about if you have a predominant linux environment then yes aws is one of the best option to go with and then good support and competency obviously they are the pioneers in cloud so they have very good support uh, and they they also have a competency available in the market because they are rapidly working through major it giants and trying to put people on board for their certifications so if you talk about their support that is generally good so amazon web services according to me will be best suited with linux server environment and if you want an experienced per experienced company sitting with you on web services then amazon is one of the best option but what i can say on price wise other options are all always competent and other options are always considerable so let's move to second cloud let's see what they offer so the second cloud which we will be discussing will be azure from microsoft it is a well formatted cloud platform you may you may say so uh, they have a large uh, experience in hypervisor type 2 type 2 virtualization and then they have container experiences as well on their operating system side so so they have formatted the azure plat cloud platform in a very well manner so uh, we normally align microsoft with user friendly then yes we can say azure is user friendly cloud platform so lot of integration compatibility due to microsoft partners yes you can say it you you can name it and they have partners within it i i don't think amazon is not that much behind with partner partnership integration but they are more open to market now because they have used their previous uh, um, relationship with partners to integrate them into cloud so if i say about monitoring tools backup tools they have third party open source integrations in azure so 
so that is making microsoft more suited obviously with window base that is the first thing as well as if you want if you have a variable environment you have different vendors working through your organization then yes azure can be one of the option so the the basic difference between azure and amazon what i look into is that their uh, software as a service may may need more time to to compete with aws but their infrastructure as a service and platform as a service are uh, right behind amazon like they are neck to neck into it and obviously they are more user friendly and they are more partners so azure is one of my best option when i will go with these type of requirements let's see what gcp offers so now gcp gcp is a google cloud right so google generally um, generally actually assemblies themselves with innovation so if i talk about google search engine so what google search engine is using obviously big data and high end data modeling right so they have used all their technology and they have aligned it to their cloud solution gcp is much cheaper relevant cloud solution and it inherit google forte what forte they have machine learning big data so if you are seeing software as a service and if you are seeing um, an analytics as a service so i think google is the best option and they will actually rule the market in coming years if they carry on in a same pace they initiated in their machine learning solutions and in their ai solutions azure is also competing with machine learning solution but google has already inherit uh, uh, themselves from their other businesses so they are on a right track as well i know this was very concise cloud comparison uh, if you start going into details it will become Uh, like uh, i need a plethora of videos to explain you but these are the basic things cost compatibility and like type of business which you want to put your cloud in so if you to- if you go to cloud conferences generally people type uh, talk about the type of business you want to cloud to align to so basically as a system admin as a solution architect or as an application uh, uh, architect these three things if you compare you will definitely uh, come to know what type of pocs i need to do it so you don't need to do pilot for every cloud if you go through the uh, used cases if you go through the white papers you will get more knowledge about it at base level at network level all cloud offerings are almost same but at application and at use cases they may differ and that what i just want to symbolize in my video If you like the video subscribe it share the video and any query just comment below the video thank you guys keep learning